Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another bonus episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Okay, so in the last bonus episode, we, um, we, I showed you where all the locations of most of the Gossip Stones are, the ones that I so happen to know about. And in this episode, we are going to be doing boss battles, but the reason why we're here is because I want to show you something real quick. And I forgot to grind for arrows, oh crap. Well, I can go get some arrows quickly. Uh, I should have, should have started recording this video when I came, when I was more prepared, but, um, I think I got, like, 10, 20 arrows? Yeah, that would be enough, actually. And what I'm going to use here is light arrows to take care of this thing, because apparently light arrows work more effectively, because, you know, light arrows are the most powerful arrows in any Zelda game. So, well, in A Link to the Past, it was the silver arrows, but, like, in games like this, it's the light arrows. But basically, that thing right there that's hovering outside the milk road is the Takuri bird. And this is what I'm going to show you what you get for killing it before we go ahead and take on the boss, the bosses as a fierce deity link or fierce deity. I like to call it deity, but I've heard people say deity. Well, I've always called it deity. Um, all right, come on, get my get my line of fire here, Mr. Takuri. And you keep on shooting him, all flying in the opposite direction. So if you actually manage to land a hit on him. He won't get anywhere near you. Yeah, he shouldn't. Well, this thing looks like a character out of Super Mario World. Or Super Mario World. And there you go, he's dead. And look at the prize that you get for it. An orange rupee, but well, we haven't come across one of those in this game. And what does it give you? Well, let's see how much it gives us. Well, if you played Ocarina of Time, you already know how much this an orange rupee gives you. But if you haven't... Uh, yeah, it gives you 200 rupees. So I'm going to meet you all in the boss room as Fierce Deity Link to take on the first boss yeah, in Woodfall. So I'll see you all then. Um. Right, so yeah, we're going to go into the boss layer now. Um, I don't think I've actually properly explained why I have a magic uh, meter bar instead of having... No, a blue magic meter bar instead of having a green magic meter bar. That's because I took some Chatty Romani and what that does, it, ma it makes your uh, magic meter bar lasts forever. Uh, it doesn't consume any magic, no matter what you use. If you, if you, if you use light arrows, if you use f ice arrows, fire arrows, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to run out of magic. And the reason why I got Chattu Romani to make my magic last forever is because that the Fierce Deity Mask also consumes magic power. <laughs> so you have to make sure that you um, get uh, Chattu Romani, especially for the final boss, because the final boss lasts a lot longer than these ones, because it has different phases. And you'll see how quickly this guy goes down. You thought using the Great Fairy Sword is bad enough? Well, look at this. See? Instant death. Like, <laughs> I mean, that was way too easy. That was even easier than using the Great Fairy Sword. And the Great Fairy Sword seemed to make that boss battle go quick as well. Um, so now, I guess next up is Got on our list. So I'll see you all in Snowhead Temple. Holy crap, look at all those white bows, man! They're about to rape me because they're all in a cluster. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the boss room inside Snowhead Temple. Uh, look at those red eyes. They stare right into your soul and they burn it alive and make it melt. Okay, so... <laughs> Well, if your heart was being burnt alive, it would melt because it is a muscle. And oh well, yeah. <laughs> right. So let's get our fire arrows out and in unencase the boss of Snowhead, which is got obviously. Um, this boss is actually quite easy to do as well, surprisingly, by using the Fierce Deity Mask. Pretty much, the Fierce Deity Mask puts all the bosses in this game to shame. Like, <laughs> seriously. It's just so overpowered. Especially if you have Chatty Romani, because then you could use it as many times as you want. Without even a worry about the magic meter. Now, what you want to do is go the completely opposite direction to what he's going, because then you get a full, like, distance of where he's going to come, and then you just keep on basically shooting him with your lasers that come out your sword, like like now. Yeah! Have a taste of my fury! Have a taste of my fury, boy! I'm going to kick your ass! Yeah, who needs magic pots, seriously? <laughs> yeah, who, who needs magic pots? I've got blue magic meter bar. 
And just keep repeating the same process over and over again. That's pretty much how you beat this guy using the fierce dirty mask. Right, I'm gonna wait here for him to come out. Yeah, reveal yourself, boy. What the hell? Ah! He actually got me that time. I didn't have enough time to actually Z target him just then. <laughs> okay, don't get a bit don't get too cocky, otherwise he's gonna end up kicking your ass because of karma. Yeah. Which way's he coming? Alright, here he comes. Now Z target. Yeah, oh god he got me again. Man, this guy's relentless. He's going all crazy on me now. Well, last time he wasn't going too badly crazy, now he's psychotic maniac goat on the loose. I can't see him. Oh, he's coming behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's coming behind me. What the hell? I'm sorry, but you must pay the ultimate price, Mr. Got. Imagine if this sword was like a regular weapon, like you didn't even have to have a mask to use this sword. Uh, that would be awesome. Like if it was a main quest item. Okay, now, let's basically zap him. He was trying to zap me, so I tried to zap him back. And that's payback for you, dude. <laughs> Suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> Accept your fate, Mr. Got. Okay, so now that Got's been defeated, next is Gyorg, so I'll see you all inside Great Bay Temple. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take on the Great Bay Temple boss. The hardest boss in the game out of all four of the main guardians, but... Um, hopefully the first DT Mask puts this guy to shame too, because I know... I'm pretty sure this is the only boss in the game that you can't actually kill just by using the first DT Mask. And I'm sorry if I say Got... got like, we're going to Great Bay Temple to fight Got before I made that cut in Snowhead Temple. Um, when I, after I beat Got. <laughs> I was meant to say Gyorg if I didn't say Got, if I didn't say Gyorg. Um, but yeah. <laughs> just wanted to correct myself in, just in case I did say that. Because I think I did. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got this Jaws angle. The first person angle. Yeah. Gargantuan, Masked Fish, Gyorg. Right, so let's put on our Fierce DD Mask, Fierce Dighty Mask, and uh, give him our... Oh wait, yeah you can, you can actually stand up here and actually hit him with this stuff. But you have to be like, at the right angle to do it. So you don't even have to go in the water to fight this thing, wow. <laughs> then this boss is going to be ridiculously easy, because I thought, like you could only hit him with it, and then you had to put on the Zora Mask, and I did not mean to do that. Yeah, great. Fierce Dighty Mask. Fierce Dighty Mask is now being eaten. Or oh, Fierce Dighty Link is now being eaten. And he's going to go for me again, by the looks of things. I ain't no shark bait, pal. Yeah, get good angle. Good angle. There's Like, it is kind of hard to hit this guy, but once you get the right angle, or the right part of him, there you go, see? Like, it doesn't hit him 100% of the time, but, huh. N nonetheless, we still did it. Which I'm happy to say. <laughs> and my sword's glowing, too, as you can see. Ken Link just stands there and watches as the fish goes tiny. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Right, so now uh, Twin Mold is uh, next on our list, so I will see you all inside uh, Stone Tower Temple. Right, now you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, the thing is, I haven't shown you exactly what the Garrow Mask does, um, because there is another purpose besides getting into Iconic Canyon by uh, communicating with that guy who makes the stump appear in order for you to hookshot to the top to get to Iconic Canyon. Uh, this is the purpose. It makes these guys, these ninja guys, appear. Master, you called. They look like mm, gigantic Jawas. What are you? I am Abraham Lincoln in disguise. <laughs> no, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog in disguise, actually. Wow, that was easy, man. 
Come on, you could put more of, more of a fight than that. Re re regrettable, although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. That which was acquired in Icarna Castle shall open the way to Stone Tower. That is all I know. Belief or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that's the way of us Garrow. So there you go. <laughs> I, I do like the Garrow mask. He does look cool. He makes Link look like a Jawa from Star Wars. <laughs> but um, I'm going to now... Do as I promised and go to Stone Tower Temple. So I'll uh, see you all then. Okay, guys, we're back, right? So now we're going to take on the Twin Mold boss inside um, Stone Tower Temple. I've not done this before, I think, as Fierce Deity Link. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I don't think it's. I think this is probably the hardest one besides Gyorg to do. Maybe it might even be harder, I don't know. Because you, you you can tell how big these things are, right? <laughs> but I don't know how big they are compared to Fierce Darty Link. Whether they're about as just as big as when they when you put on the Giant's Mask. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Because <laughs> I don't honestly remember. But obviously the hardest way to beat these things is by using... Nope, they're still the same, pretty much the same size, even if, even if you're playing as normal Link, so... You don't grow any bigger. So you just gotta basically play it the same way you do by using arrows, except from the fact that you have infi uh, infinity beams that come out your sword. And if I can actually <laughs> get a shot on one of these. Well, I have gotten a shot, I just want to get multiple hits, which I'm not successfully doing. Apparently, Z targeting doesn't help much. So yeah, I guess this guy is going to be a lot harder than... Um, in some ways, I guess. See, the, the beams are just not... They're, like, going a tad late. They're not going... Ex well, because the tails are going faster than the beams, so... The beam is going to arrive later. Then the, you have to get like really close, basically, to hit them, like this close. <laughs> so you can't be too far away, otherwise you're gonna miss. And I'm not Z targeting again, apparently. Ugh. Where's the other ones? There's one all the way over here. And he's gonna get really close to me, so might as well keep on No, what the hell? I didn't lose that! Oh right, good, I actually hit it. Ugh. Man. That Z target just went off as soon as it went underground. I was like, what the hell? Maybe you can't Z target when it's underground or something. Or when it goes underground. And that was the one I wanted the Z target, but it wouldn't let me. Once again. See, I'm pressing Z. Uh. This boss doesn't want to die. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's one of them. Yeah, you think you're so big and almighty and scary. Well, guess what? I've got a mask that may be smaller in size, but... Its scariness is much bigger than your size combined, I guess. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. I'm more scarier than your size. And your size is pretty intimidating, let me tell you. Well, it is when you're playing as Young Link because you have to use your arrows to kill it, and the arrows aren't as powerful as the fierce deity mask. Yeah, you writhe in agony. I crave it. I crave the sound of you mo uh, writhing in pain. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have to, I haven't actually shown you what it looks like when you take off the fierce deity mask. That's what it looks like. Oh, he's got blank eyes. <laughs> and um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, episode, I think. So we'll get out of here, and um, <clears throat> that will be that. And then all that there is left for us to do is fight the final boss as Fierce Dighty Link, and that's the end of the LP, pretty much. 
Like no more bonus episodes or anything to look forward to. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna get rid of this Gway. All right, so in, in the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask, we take on the final boss as Fierce Dirty Link. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on my next video, and goodbye.